Yep. What is the dollar amount of assets they need to be thinking about being able to commit before starting the process of a conversation? Well, I mean, there's different degrees of that. And, and so I'll tell you the bare minimum. So the bare minimum, because all ETFs have to be approved by our trust. So we have a, a, our own trust. We have our independent trustees. And the independent trustees are technically the fiduciary to the trust. And so we have to pitch them to allow this RAA or advisor to run an ETF. And, and that means there's a lot of financial security and, and elements we need to consider. So typically the bare minimum to launch an ETF on our platform is 500K in operating capital and 5 million day one capital. What that means, so 500K in money that's just in a bank account to support ETF operations and then $5 million, like in the first day or two to see the ETF. That's bare minimum, right? You don't want bare minimum. We as you recommend that you have at least $25 million day one preferably $50 million day one, because now you're already past break even, or you're very close, depending on the situation. And they don't have to have the 500K operating capital because you're not burning any operating capital. And, and so that'd be a preferred route if you can get to that 25, 35, 45 type range right out the gate. 